Hello and welcome to my 13th video of my Gnome for Beginners tutorial series Slices and More on Strings. Since we have been using echo and write procedure a lot to display values of our variables and containers, we never had the need to convert data types into their string representation, because these two procedures automatically did that for us. Now if we wanted to do this ourselves, there is a special operator for this, the dollar sign. All you need to do to convert any data type to its string representation basically just putting the values inside double quotation marks, you just need to put the dollar sign in front of it like this. Let's make some variables. Variable num1 is 10. Variable some string that will be saving the number one version of string. Use this dollar sign and num1. And this is synthet synthetically correct. Now let's echo this, some string. Now you might ask what are the use cases for this? Well, for starters, you can use the dollar sign inside an echo procedures argument call to join two strings together without the usage of a comma. With the ampersand sign, or as it is known in programming, the and sign, which in name is used for string concatenation or string joining. Now let's make another variable. Number two is 0.55. Now let's echo out number one, concatenation sign, num2. Now we got to convert them to string using the dollar sign. No errors anymore. And let's compile this. 100.55. Now this looks worse than this, num1, num2, and it does exactly the same. String concatenation is used for when you do not want to change the existing string from some variable that you have made because string concatenation creates a new temporary string instead of modifying the existing one. Okay, let me demonstrate this better. Let's comment out this to echo calls. Now let's display some string with echo, some string Oops, on this, then. Now, if we wanted to add here some string, like with continuation sign, let's say hello. Now this will display hello, but this string is now changed. So if you want it not to change, you will concatenate here the string instead. So since they're both adding some string of hello, this will be double. So this is the way to add some string without changing it. You can also use the add procedure on strings, like we have used it with arrays and sequences to add some string at the end of our string variable. What you cannot do is use the del short for delete procedure on strings. Let me demonstrate. Now let's type some string dot add more string. Now let's echo this some string. Okay, and more string. Now, if we try to delete some string that del, we give it an index, it's not gonna work because it's a type mismatch because you can't do this on strings. You can only do this on arrays, sequences, and so on. Now, let's talk about slices and what they are. Slices are another way of specifying indexes of containers to be able to modify or display multiple indexes at once. They work in the same way as ranges. All you have to do is put a range inside the square brackets when accessing the index of some container like this. Variable longer string is, let's say, hello world. Now let's echo it using this slice, which is a range. So let's zero to Four. It should display hello. There we go. Hello. You can also do it from four forwards to let's say eight. It only goes from four to eight, which is the O V O. What you can also do is echo longer string. You can also do the longer string that low procedure on it to longer string dot high, which will display the whole string. Hello world. Let's try this with an array. Let's make an array. 
variable array one is zero, two, four, six, and eight. Now echo array one from zero to two. So the first, second, and third elements. So it should be zero, two, and four. Zero, two, and four. And now with sequences, variable sequence one is at square brackets zero, one, two, and three. And now let's echo this sequence one. Add the range from one to three to the last one. It should be one, two, three. We go one two three. You can also use the smaller than logical operator with the slices like this. Echo sequence one from one to smaller than three. This will disclude number three because ranges go from the smallest number to the largest, including the first number and the last one. So this one will do the second element one, two, and three. But this one with the smaller than sign, smaller than three, will disclude three. Now let's run this and show you. One and two excludes three. Also make sure to have no space between the range operator, two dots, and the smaller than, because otherwise it is ambiguous. It could cause some errors. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you liked it. If you had any problems with any part of the video, let me know in the comment section. The code for this video is in the link in the description. Have fun!